Friday, May 5th. The market's been closed for about an hour and a half, but I wanted to make this quick video just to explain a few things, an anomaly today on how I trade and use the trading zone even when the market prices are nowhere near where the forecast Taylor averages are. So the Taylor trading zone was down here today, support at 4037, resistance at 4083. And as you can see, prices came in even above the forecast high, but still in all, I used the Taylor trading zone to make a very good profit. Now, how did you do that? Well, very often what happens where the Taylor trading zone doesn't comport to market prices, it's because news announcements skew the market and they move prices up or down depending upon the, the news. The market, of course, is based on sentiment. A lot of it is based on sentiment. But still, the Taylor trading zone calculates pretty accurately the range for the day. And here was the range for the day. The range was about 47 points, okay? Prices traded nowhere near that. When that happens, I take my Taylor trading zone and I transpose it up to where the intraday high or low is to see where the other end of the range is likely to be. And look what happened today. I took my trading zone, moved it up here, same trading zone, same range, 47 points, moved it up here right to the intraday low, which is where the market opened. And where did prices go? Prices went up exactly where the calculated range estimated they would go. So that's how you use the Taylor trading zone in a real short video. I won't go into the details of it. You can find out more on my website at timelessdollar.com. But that's how you can use the Taylor trading zone, even when prices come nowhere near where the forecast averages or range should be. You can still use it because it's still accurate. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Trade safely. Use lots of patience. And I'll see you on my next video. Marv Eisen, Timeless Dollar Trading Academy. Uh, I've made this calculator available. It's right here. You go to my website, timelessdollar.com, and the Taylor Trading Technique Calculator, here's the link, or this one at the bottom of the home page. You click the link, and it will take you to the page where it explains how Taylor's calculator works and how to use it. So if you want to purchase this calculator, as you saw, it's an Excel spreadsheet, but it's an Excel spreadsheet within a Windows program. So you can download this program to your computer and create any number of files, one file for every market you want to trade. You want to trade the NQ, you want to trade the ES, you want to trade a stock, you want to trade another commodity. You can output multiple files using this calculator. And the only thing that you need to do is to put in seven days of, seven consecutive days of open, high, low, close in whatever market you're trading. And then the averages will recalculate and you'll begin to get the daily output so that you can trade your market. Not only is this calculator good for any market, but if you're not sure, try it out. When you purchase it, if you feel it's not for you, and I don't believe that you'll do that, but just ask for your money back and within two weeks, you get a full refund and we're still friends. Okay, so that's the Taylor book method. That's how it works. That's what it is. That's how to calculate it. And now you can put Taylor's trading technique to work for you. I hope you take advantage of this opportunity and I know it will improve your trading results.